It's 9 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day Orlando. Welcome back. All right, this is a little creepy. An important consumer alert for parents just ahead of Christmas. Those high-tech toys could actually be spying on your children. There's a talking doll. It's called My Friend Kayla. Could actually be recording your children's conversations. Consumer advocates filed a complaint with the FTC claiming that these toys violate the privacy of children and their families. According to the filing, the talking doll and the IQ robot asked children for very personal information, things like their parents' names, their favorite TV shows, their favorite meals, the school name, and the city they live in. And joining us this morning to talk more about it is tech expert, our good friend Tom Jelnick with On Target Web Solutions. Great, great to, to see, see you. As always. Good to okay, see you. this is certainly creepy. We yeah. think, oh, what a great fun toy for our kid, and then all of a sudden we get it, and we, oh, yeah, this is not good, this right? This has disturbed my inner geek more than I can ever tell you. This is the oh. creepiest thing I've ever I've seen in, in all my years, right? Oh, boy. Yeah. So what do you so, need to do? As a parent, what do you need to know? What do you need to be aware of? Because it's probably more than just these toys. I'm sure there are other toys, too, that they're smart toys, right? Yeah, so anything that's connecting up to your home Internet, if it's a toy. I mean, in this particular instance, these toys are listening and talking, right? So that's a little freaky to begin with. Oh, gosh. But, you know, hackers can actually get into your home Wi-Fi network if it's not secure. They could take control of these dolls, right? And they could be listening to all your data information. And, and they're obviously selling the data to you know, third-party marketers, which can be gold for them. But still, I mean, this is a creep factor like like no one's business. So do, what do you think? I mean, so we're talking about there's an intent on the part of the manufacturers to like, hey, and while you're at it, your kids think it's really cool. We're going to glean all this information yeah. and then sell it. So one of the biggest mistakes we make as consumers and with these apps that we're downloading, the toys come with an app, yeah. right? So we don't read those terms of service. Mm -hmm. And that's, I mean, buried in that 52-page document. Right. Right. is, hey, by the way, your kids are going to have a great time, but we're listening and we're taking all your data and we're selling it to third parties, which is, is really freaky. So my advice, um, stay away from these microphone or, or voice-activated Wi-Fi connected toys. Right. And certainly, if you're going to do it, you have to read those terms of service. Okay. So your suggestion is that there's no way to like turn it off or to, to disconnect or no, that doesn't work no, that way. The whole point of the toy is that interactivity. Right. So if your kids are liking that, then you're just going to have to put up with the possibility. Yeah, and I think the best, if, if you already have one, the best you know, measurement here is to spend quality time with your children, right? Monitor what they're doing with their toys and just be vigilant. Yes. It's more important for you as a parent to talk to your child than a robot. I think so. Anyway, yeah. I'm with you on that Sound one. Sound advice there. <laughs> Tom so, Jelnick, great to tell see everybody you. your website, please. Sure, on targetwebsolutions.com. Always great to see good you, to my see friend. You. Thank you. All right, Jamie King.